Thanks for coming back, everybody, gang. Um, today we're going to go over how to use a application called Handbrake. We're going to compress your video before you save it to your hard drive for that final version. Stay tuned. Thanks again for coming back and watch the second video, second part. Um, I'm W from DDCAT Media. Let's get right into it. So we are going to use a system called Handbrake. Uh, this is also another free uh, application, just like Make MKV. So we're going to launch that. This is their uh, landing page. Very simple process, everybody. And we're also going to bring up our file. In this case, we're going to use TED, which is the first movie that uh, we ripped. We're simply going to grab it. We're going to drag it over to a file. The system will automatically identify it. Now, this identified as a DVD, which is why the source width and the height is what it's showing right here. Most of this stuff is, you just leave it exactly the way you see it. So the dimensions are going to be left alone. Filters you'll leave alone. Video you'll leave alone. Make sure your video codex is showing the H.264 if you're using a Windows desktop. I like to leave it at consistent frame rate. Um, the quality slider over here where I'm showing, it sets at default at 25. If you move it to the left, you get less quality, but the file size is smaller. And if you move it to the right, um, I've never seen the file size get bigger or the quality get better. But um, in any case, I, I don't really move this at all. I've moved it to 27, 30 at some point in time, and it's the video starts to look a little bit grainy. So I would just leave it at the 25 and leave it at default. Audio is something that I do change. I come down here to where it says stereo, and I move it to 5.1. Most DVDs, if not all DVDs, at least give you 5.1 or uh, Dolby Surround. Subtitles, leave alone. Chapters, leave alone. Overall summary, uh, format. I always change it to an MP4, uh, but you can leave it to MKV and leave it alone. Um, so we're going to change it there. Um, and that's pretty much it. So after that, you're going to set the location or where you want this to uh, go to. I'm just going to leave it in the same folder and we'll hit save. So it's going to stay right on the home PC, but you can save it anywhere. And from there, you're going to add it to a queue. And then you're going to hit start. And as you can see, it's already it's already moving. Um, it, it I will tell you this will take probably about 15, 20 minutes for it to complete. Uh, the larger the file, so if you use a Blu-ray or if you're using 4K, um, it might even take longer. But um, when this completes, I'll get we'll come back and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so the queue is finished. That means the video is done. Let's come up here. This was the original. The original was 4.65 gig. And the new one has been compressed to 634 megabits. So that's pretty substantial if you think about it. Um, 4.6 down to uh, a little over 600. And if we click on that, We have a video that plays. And everything looks good. Okay. Well, that's it, gang. Uh, again, it's very, very simple. From here, uh, you delete the, the old one. You keep the new one. Well, obviously, it's a smaller file, file size. Um, just want to throw out another call. I would check out the uh, Plex video. And I'll leave a, another link in the description. And I'll also put one here. Take a look at that video. Um, it's a great place to store your videos. Um, it's almost like having a, uh, your own little Netflix, and it's yours. You can have it on any one of your computers. Uh, you can stream it across your, your residential home uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, it's pretty cool. If you like this video, Again, please uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button for me, 
and also click the bell. That way you can get notified of any uh, new videos that, uh, that we post. Thanks again for watching. As always, stay safe and stay healthy. So long.